Okay, fuckers, let's move along. Let's move along. Keep the truck rolling, fuckers. Keep that truck rolling. And number three spot. Number three, I've awarded to the Automars Big A Royal Oak. That's right, fuckers. The Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. And uh, this is a very, very important watch. Released in 1972, this watch saved Audemars Piguet. If it hadn't have been for the original Royal Oak Jumbo 5402 reference, the, um, there's a very good chance that Audemars Piguet wouldn't exist today. And uh, this is very, very significant. The Royal Oak itself has spawned the Royal Oak Offshore Chronograph and the Offshore Diver. And this watch saved Audemars Piguet. It basically saved them. And uh, i got to tell you, fuckers, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, a Gerald Gentra design, named after the famous British battleship HMAS Royal Oak, which is a, uh, it's based on a story where a king was saved by hiding in a tree. The Royal Oak, a famous, famous name in British naval history. And I gotta tell you, any Royal Oak is cool, but I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I prefer the classic Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, the classic edition. And uh, I've got a 14790 ST. That's the 36 mil automatic with the date. The uh, in recent times they've got the 15300 and the 15400, and they've uh, they've also released a uh, a reissue of the jumbo, the 15202. But uh, I just got to tell you, fuckers, if you want a beautiful, beautiful steel luxury luxury wristwatch. It doesn't get much better than an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. Be warned, be warned. The repairs on an Audemars Piguet are eye-watering. And uh, I have been told they're considerably more than even a Patek. And uh, Audemars Piguet tends to use a lot of ultra-slim, ultra-thin movements. And uh, their tolerance is a lot finer. So uh, be prepared to have deep pockets if you get an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. But that said, they are a beautiful, they're a piece of design excellence. I mean, the Gerald Gentra design, it's so beautiful. I mean, Gerald Gentra went on to do the Patek Philippe Nautilus and the Vacheron 222, which became the Vacheron overseas. But I think the Royal Oak was probably the most beautiful out of all of those there. And uh, I'm giving it the third spot in the billing here because Audemars Piguet, kid, I kid you not, fuckers, it probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. The Royal Oak saved these people big time. And uh, that's a amazing piece. And the whole modern Audemars Piguet lineup is based on on the Royal Oak. Okay, fuckers, let's move along! The Audemars Piguet. Royal Oak. What a stunning watch. And uh, I love mine, even though the bastard needs an expensive service. I still love the AP Royal Oak. And uh, you've got to forgive. You've got to forgive certain things. And uh, Audemars Piguet, what a prestigious name. What a great name in watches. And uh, Gerald Gentra Design Classic. I just love the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak in steel. What a sexy fucker. And uh, I love it to bits. And it's got white gold screws. I mean... Rolex gave you a white gold bezel, not these Audemars fuckers, no, they give you white gold screws. But anyhow, I'll soon find out about being screwed when I take this fucker in for a service. Tell me what you think of this beautiful Audemars fucker. <laughs>